Yeah. Shall I present the PPT or demo, sir? Uh, sir my, my experiment my experiment is study of field patterns of various modes inside a rectangular cavity field patterns of various modes sir in, in rectangular cavity the two the the hollow rectangular cylindrical structure will be enclosed with two sides as it is shown here due to this the magnetic and electric fields hit the surface and it bounces back this mn mnp are the different modes we are we will be op operating and will be obtained in the different field patterns the modes will operating over here is t and tm we will not be operate, operating in tm because tm requires two two cavities because electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other now we will for m is for m is equal to 0 we will not obtain any patterns there. the the mode does not exist because m, m mode is the primary mode we will change it to We change it to one and this is the surface current, sir. As we can see here in x x z plane, it is going inward the inwards. In in y z plane, it goes up to b point to b b by two. It it, uh, it is the symmetry, the vertical symmetry from b by two to here. The modes are defined. Modes are nothing but it is the half cycle variation. As we can see here, b by two, it's an half cycle. Variations are symmetrical, sir. As we can see over here also, and by varying, this is surface current. This is the electric field pattern. We can see over here. It is parallel to the x-axis, and uh, in here you can see it's symmetrical because of the definition of modes and we and in magnetic field this is the magnetic field pattern sir it bounces it, it it will be moving like this and once it hits the surface it bounces back as we can see here in yz plane and in xy plane in xz plane you can see it is moving in the circular pattern like this and in tm mode we can see the magnetic pattern it is symmetrical about the Ah, uh, 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 it is uh, vertically symmetrical. This one, this pattern is as we can observe here. Here also we can change the modes. This is the electric field pattern we are we have obtained in TM mode, and this is the surface current. But if we put if we change the mode to any of the mode to zero, it shows. The, the the mode that does not exist sir because uh, the mode uh, has to be some value over here or else the, the mode will not be existing sir sir so next one sir hello yeah sir sir next experiment sir hello full agli lala sir i tell sir Sir, modes modes very modic pa pattern find out, madam sir. If the modes any one mode zero is there, it pattern agar sir, I can say, if the all of cylindrical it's it's it is close and it bounces back to the same region, sir. That is why it's not any any of the modes should not be zero in this pattern to obtain the pattern in this experiment, sir. Okay, next continue. The next experiment is study of behavior of impedance matching. For passive networks using Smith chart, Smith chart is a graphical tool which is used to obtain the multiple parameters like impedance, conductance, admittance, and all in the form of circles and arcs. As you can see here, sir. this is the single stub where it is placed at the distance of L. It it has a length of L and placed at the distance of D with respect to the Z L. That is the load load area impedance. As we can vary the stub length in terms of wavelength and the stub dist sub distance location of stub from the load end. This is the location of stub at the distance of D. We can see here, and this is the length of the stub with the resistance of R naught. As we can vary, as we vary here, we can see that the circular circle is uh, uh, following the path. Once it is once the path is completed, like this, 
it shows that it is an uh, open open circuit sir a short a short circuit this is a short circuit uh, as the wavelength as the distance, length of this stub increases this is a short circuit there will be no impedance because it will be very much close to zl this is the location of stub as we increase this we can see this we can we can see that it it produces the normalized load admittance and normalized mm -hmm. admittance after movement of the real one in voice sir sir okay sir sir now is it, is it audible sir hello yes yes okay sir we can see over here normalized load admittance it it will be having an imaginary and the real part this one is the imaginary part as you can see circle over here the arc represents to this is the real part the arc represents the imaginary part if we can see the real part is symmetrical with respect to both the both the thing but whereas the image imaginary part is above the above above the above the equator equator line this imbe, this implies the decision capacitive load normalized admittance after movement we, as we can observe here we, we, when we vary the dist distance of the stub we can observe the variation in the normalized distance because the resistance and the, the impedance depends di directly on the distance and inversely on the area as we increase the value the, the, the impedance will be increased Admi admittance is nothing but the inverse of uh, impedance we can observe here we can, as we vary these two these two are the parameters we are uh, worried about as the stub stub wave stub length is decreased we can see the load the load inductance the the, the load impedance turns into a uh, inductive one as the wavelength as the wavelength increases it turns into a resistive one and the circuit becomes the short circuit sir okay okay this is the single stub double stub i'll show now sir okay this is the double stub where we will be having the two stub as we can see here one stub bit is at the distance of dl from the load resistance load impedance zl and the other is at a distance of d not from the first first stub this is, this is the, the pixel representation of the stub as we can uh, this is similar to the previous one but we here we will be having the two stubs two stub yeah, we will be obtaining the two arc and the two circles depending upon the length stub wave length and the length of say, here we will be varying only the stub length not the distance because distance are fixed over here if you vary the distance the distance of the stub will change and, and as a result we cannot obtain the pro proper output sir this this is the wavelength as we can see wavelength is very high with, uh, with respect to stub b which is at a distance of d not we can obtain we can observe the inductive inductive impedance with respect to this stub stub b stub b we are obtaining the capacitor by making use of these two we can obtain both inductive and uh, capacitive uh, impedance varying the uh, wavelength that is the stub length stub length of the different stubs this is the normalized we, we have the numerical numerical values here 0.3 minus 0.4 is the normalized load admittance that is the, this is the index this one this one and this one it is this is point 3 and point this is the inductive load because it is found below the central line even this is below this is below as we can observe here minus point 0.4 this is also an inductive load this is plus this is the capacitive load by observing this we can we can obtain both inductive and capacitive load by varying this problem of the different stubs hence we can now make use of capacitor and inductive reactances over here Okay. Yes, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Okay. And next, next continue. Yeah, continue.